really boring podcast I've ever seen. Well, no, because I think if I'm muted, that's the whole thing's muted. Like, there's just a weird... I don't know. There's different ways. It's a ways. special mime edition. Yeah, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, chat room. Hi, guys. Morning, evening, afternoon. You didn't change my picture. No. Nope. Well, I went to take some photos, and it just... They did not look good. So, <laughs> I... I need to set it up properly. So, trust me, it's coming. I just... I need, <laughs> so like, cute. the right background I yeah so and the ones that I took I because I took a couple and they're cute but it's just it's not quite I wanted it special so hi guys good morning everyone's hi, here guys. how's the sound everyone's good let me see can we hear this one coffee is my blood oh yes yes it is I don't know if the little... Yep, it's coming through. Okay, alright. I'm going to assume that that's all good. Um, let's see if I do that. Yes. Alright. Well, then we should be good. We should be good. Everybody got their coffee or beverage of choice. Except for Chris, because you got to go to bed soon. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But definitely a beverage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the blend that um, I got from my mother-in-law and sister-in-law. So, um, it's a, what do you guys call them, French press type. So, oh, um, yum. Yeah, it's, it's quite nice. I thought I'd made it a little stronger today. But, no, like, it's, it's a mild at the moment. The level's probably about a mild, so I thought it was going to be a little, like, I put a couple of spoons in. I but... love that your coffee is so good there that you don't have to put a bunch of crap into it to make it taste good. Oh, it's so good. So good. Good morning. Hi, Peridon. Hi, guys. Um, my favorite is actually a Brisbane company. That's that's my favorite. They're mm, one, two. They're probably about three suburbs away. That's my absolute favorite. They're called Elixir Coffee, and they are. It is so good. I haven't been there for a while, and they're not cheap. Like it is, it is pricey, but it is good stuff. Really good stuff. I do do quite enjoy that. So. That's my favorite. But we do have another one in Brisbane too that's about my second or third. Merlot. They do a really nice, really nice um, coffee as well. But Elixir's my favorite, so. <laughs> coffee snob I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. You, you have wonderful choices there. We do. We do have very wonderful. All right. Uh, everything's muted. I think we're good to go. Um, all right, we ready? Ready. Okay, let's do this in three, two, and one. Whatever it is you enjoy about the world of Warcraft, we have a challenge for you. Adventure. Crafted. Burger. This is the WoW Challenges Podcast, and here's your host, Lita. Hello, and welcome to the WoW Challenges Podcast. This is episode 270. Today is Saturday, September 11, 2021. I'm your host, Lita. Joining me this week is my co-host, Chris. Good morning, good evening. Sweetie, how are you? I am fabulous. How are you? I am okay. I'm doing okay. 
I'm good. Um, first off, I just want to say that I know this is a big day for, especially for a lot of you guys over in the States, so um, it's the 20th anniversary. I just want to send hugs and love to all of you guys um, and just know that we think of you and yeah, so I just wanted to start off with that first off. So hugs to you guys and um, yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to get Chris. You are amazing. Thank you. That's Shh, I'm not done yet. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to get right smack started straight all into it. Um, This is the WOW Challenges Fashion Show for 2021. Uh, I apologize. Normally we do this for the anniversary show. Uh, I've been slightly a little preoccupied with stuff going on. So, <laughs> so I must admit that I was a little, little late with things. Uh, so yes. Anyway, we were doing it this week. <laughs> so, uh, so thank you. Thank you to those, um, for indulging in my, I'd say slackedness, but yeah, it's been a been a little, been a little busy. So um, so that's very, that's why we're running a little behind on these things. But you get that. And thank you, Chris. Thank you. Hang on. Where's my little heart? I've got my little heart. Hang on. I changed things around on my screen, so now I'm like, where is things? This one. There we go. That's for Chris. No worries. I'm multitasking here with half a brain. So it's like, <laughs> wait, did I click on everybody? Are we good? That's okay, we're good. beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, and um, yeah, I appreciate you so much. So thank you. Thank you for doing that. That's very sweet. All right. Uh, so let's go through the rules that we had set. And these are the, pretty much the, the same rules that we had last year. And it was, you know, it's just a little bit of fun. Something a little bit different to take out of the normal when you're playing WoW. We know a lot of people, you know, like to transmog and do things. And you can't, with a lot of the challenges, can't do actual transmog. But you have to get a little creative. So, um, so yeah, it's nice to see how creative that you guys can be. So, what we've got is, um, all right, so the categories are, we've got Azeroth Designer of the Challenger 2021, we've got the Grey White Edition, we've got the Azeroth Designer of the Challenger 2021 Green Edition, and then we've got the Azeroth Emerging Challenger 2021. So, the rules were no transmogging of gear allowed, so no account-wide use of any gear, all gear must be obtained by the tomb you are submitting and must be currently equipped from September 9th to the 11th because we needed to verify. Um, and we wanted to bring up the winner's armory pages to make sure that they were wearing the correct stuff. Uh, all gear must be equipped on a level 10 or above tune. And when you are submitting an entry for a particular character, for a particular character, <laughs> For a particular category, make sure the tune you are using is gear appropriate. So obviously you don't want to be, you know, putting green gear on an Iron Man because you will red flag your tune. So, you know, that's that's the big thing is just making sure that you're on the right tune and wearing the right gear. Um, and then we said if you want to write a sh short story and tell us about, you know, what the tune's wearing, how they came about this outfit, you know, we're all into stories. We love stories. So that was, that was the big thing. Um, okay. All right. So we're going to start off. So bear with me because I have to click on things on my screen and all right. So, first off, we had the Azeroth Designer of the Challenger 2021. This is the grey-white edition. All right, so what, what did we have? Okay. 
here we go this is our entry is Fez entry and Fairness yes all right tell us a little bit about so wonderful fair sent us through lots of oh little little snippets of information so um so what did she have to say i so. love this description <laughs> and i just read it baroness <clears throat> is a level 13 unemployed working man challenge wannabe she never had a chance to join the challenger list she doesn't have a lot of money, so this is a bit of a bargain outfit with all but the cloak and shoulders being vendor items, but it suits her and her pet approves. Very cute. I love the little story. That's beautiful. She's a bargainista. It's so cute. So cute. All right. Excellent. All right. So that was that was our entry for the gray white edition. So thank you, Fair. That's beautiful. She looks amazing, and I love your pussy cat. What's your pussy? What's the um? What's the what is it? Panther? What's what's its name? I like names. I was, I was just gonna ask that. We we need names. Liam. Liam. Oh, that's very cute. He's super cute. All right. Well, thank you, Fed. That's mate. Hang on. Where's my little? Where's my little? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. That's awesome. Thank you. He's a good kitty. He's a good kitty. <laughs> we we like good kitties. Good kitties are good. All right. Uh. So yay. That's. That's awesome. And I really like, I like that outfit. It looks super cute. And with the, um, with the hair and the vines, it, it just, it looks cute. So very nice. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now next one, we've got a couple, hang on, bear with me. I have to scroll. This is where we go. Is it going to do the right thing? Hopefully it should. All right. <laughs> okay. So the, the next scroll. next one is from Nisi. All right. What have we got? Uh, so this is if you want to have a look. I'll put that in here. This is Nisi's is Soul Survivor. And Nisi didn't say anything. I'm assuming was Soul Survivor is a live tune. I'm pretty sure she is live so yeah so we don't <laughs> we do not want her compromised live bloodthirsty thank you i figured it was but i just thought i'd double check so super cute and it's taran look at her she's very cute she's too busy killing things to tell us anything about her yeah and she's like Shh. yeah warding off um warding off the druids I'm assuming in Bastion they see oh, they've been pains to the butts again apparently so very super cute <laughs> oh, God. okay yeah there's obviously yes they are so um but really super cute super cute super cute looks amazing very nice love it super super cute so thank you, Nisi. Thank you. That's... And then we've got another entry. Hang on, hang on. I've got to scroll. I've got to scroll. I think Fair needs to start writing for Fashion Magazine or something because these are adorable. <laughs> and then we've got Fair's entry again. All right. So what have we got? So this is, uh, forgive me, Fair, if I say it wrong, Farron? A green man mage. She wore a green colored outfit last year, but wanted a new look and loves the detail on this pink robe. Yes, of course, she had her hair recolored to coordinate it with it. She also loves the pretty staff, and best of all, I love this touch the spectacles. Super cute, but not only did she send one, 
if we go if we scroll down a bit there's another one yes because she's a bit vain so she insisted on including <laughs> another picture so you could see her from both sides it's so cute so cute i love the spectacles it's just like eh. as a glasses wearer who has been wearing glasses for most of my life i just it's super cute so <laughs> that tunes have mine absolutely we do understand that tunes do have minds of their own even though you know we we control them within a certain certain degree let me scroll back there's the front side view and i love that staff the staff is really cute very very cute and let's go back to this one yeah and i love the rope the combination of that purpley pink with the green it works it it really looks fantastic and the hair to match well done that is fantastic so very well done thank you all right so hang on do another fireworks so thank you fair and nisi that was amazing Let's do that one. Yay. Bravo. Bravo. All right. Uh, okay. And then we had the Azeroth Emerging Challenger 2021. And look who we had. We had Fair again sent in a tune. And this tune is a very, this tune's been around for a while. Right? This is Ferris Stella. She was Fair's very first Iron Man ever. And until an unfortunate encounter with some Naga ice tombs in Zangermarsh at level 61. She moved servers back in the day when there were limited spots per server after dying. Mm -hmm. But not a day or so before meeting those Naga, she found this very rare robe in Moonglade. And it has been her choice ever since. She tends not to go for a lot of adornment with it. Just lets the robe speak for itself. It's very, very cute. And I must admit that is, if I, hang on, let me click on. I'm just trying to think of what the robe is. I know the robe you're talking about. And I've got one on one of my characters back in the day um i got it somewhere yeah would have been moonglade yes i know i've got one like on one too but i think it's on a bank tune or something it's um yeah it's it's gorgeous i don't know how to say the second one formal dang dangery dangy d-a-n-g-u-i is that right I don't know how you pronounce it. Don't, anyway, it's very cute. Very super cute. So, thank you. Now, hang on. Let me play because I want them to scroll. <laughs> I actually... Yes. I want them to scroll through. So, I, I... It's one of those things. Like, when you set up so stuff can scroll through, I had set it up to have, like, five minutes because I didn't know how long we were going to be talking <laughs> about each and every one of them. So, hence why I have, like, manually scrolling through them. But now I will drop that time down so then you guys can see all the pretty stuff. We might make it, what, 20 seconds? Let's do a 20 second. Yeah, that way you can see them all. Doing it live. As a prillium would say. All right. Okay, let's see if that works. And by right, it's supposed to scroll. Scroll, scroll, scroll. So, yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Lovely ladies. Do appreciate you taking the time to do that. Really do. That was amazing. Thank you. Chris and I have decided that, of course, you both get um, a prize. So we will contact you a bit later. And I just want to say again, thank you for taking the time 
and doing that that was that was wonderful so um so yeah we'll we'll contact you after to see what what pet you'd like and we will get that organized so thank you so hang on where's my little heart I give say, you a little strangely enough we know how to find these two <laughs> it's I, again you know it is it's something a bit different it's something to have a bit of fun with and um we do appreciate when people take the effort to do that we really do so thank you both right? very it's much. like trial of style but for challenge tunes exactly <laughs> exactly because we can't as a challenge to do trial of style and I do love that com concept that Blizzard had put into the game. I, I think it's, you know, it's a bit of fun. Oh, I have so much fun with that. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> it is it is good fun. So thank you, Barith. Do appreciate that. All right. Uh, and as I said, we'll contact you after and, and get that sorted. So thank you. Um, okay, what did I just do? I just got rid of my screen. On you, leader. That's right. <laughs> Got rid of the whole UI. That's fantastic. Okay. Oh. We're just gonna fly by the seat of our very dark. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, weeks and wow. How's your week been? <laughs> oh, need I ask? <laughs> my my week and wow. Let's see. Excuse I haven't me. seen wow hardly at all. Mm -hmm. Um, but I did have. I guess in the last since we haven't been here. What in two weeks? Um, mm. I got four mounts, so I Yay. know I got, uh, the green noodle from Corthia, the, um, covenant mount, the green noodle fox looking thing. Okay. The rare. So I got that on my dread. Nice. I got, um, the fallen charger. <gasps> Such a pretty, one. love that, love that one, it's very cute. So... <laughs> Dean and yeah, I have exactly. soloed it twice, well, two-manned it twice now, no, cause, <clears throat> because I'm a bear and mm -hmm. he is a boom chicken healer. Yep. Um, so, it takes us, like, probably gonna say, minutes to kill it, the, I, just the two of us. It's a big, the first time it's a big fight. we were in an invasion, it dropped literally on our heads, <laughs> and, um... We, I, I died like four times the first time. Kept running back to my corpse. Mm -hmm. He's still alive. We got it for him. Um, then we were doing the next invasion, and it ran right through where we were. And I'm like, all right, fine, I'm pulling it. So I grab it, and it was us two, and I think it was a demon hunter who finally ended up coming. Another 20-minute fight. It was insanely long. Like, so many convokes. Like, ten convokes it takes me, because it's a two-minute cooldown. Yeah. But I got them out. And nice. So, um, I got that one, and then I got a mount from the salt cache. Okay. And then, nice. um, I was over, of all things, in Revendreth on my pallet, no, on football, my DK. Nice. And. Good spot. Um, <laughs> the World Gorger rare mm -hmm. goes off. Yep. And I'm like, ugh. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I finished the quest I had to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, fine. I'm like, oh, because I was doing the ramp, run the ramparts. Hate that mm -hmm. quest, by the way. Hate that quest with a passion. You know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Mm -hmm. um, yes. So I finished that and I'm like, fine. I'll just go see if he's up. I get over. I literally get two hits in and the mount, the quest to start the mount drops. So Ooh, I, nice. in seven days after I, cause you have to go over and like get these plants and feed the gorger for seven days. It's like mainly oh. on Corthia. Yeah. Ah, okay, so cool. I went over and in seven days I'll have another mount. So Yay! I didn't get to play a lot of WoW, but I got a lot of mounts. <laughs> you did really well. That's okay, amazing. I will take that all day. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause you know, we often know that when it comes to things that we we love to collect or we want in game sometimes it can be years years on years even into double digit or... years yeah certain mounts on... headless horseman mount yeah yeah which is coming which yes. is coming it it is next month how exciting is that it's how many sleeps away well, find out how not exciting it is after i've taken weeks? like 25 tunes through it every single day for however long and still don't have them out yeah 
You get it this year. I got a good vibe. I hope so. Whew, yes, absolutely. Well, congratulations. That's amazing. So happy for you. They are wonderful. It's so, so good to see someone's getting some mounts. So yay. And yay. the Fallen Charger, I mean, I know as a challenge tune, you do not want to be in the mall. But if you're taking a normal tune and that Fallen Charger pops up, because it's normally a count wide, um, a zone wide that's like Fallen Charger is on its way or something. There's a specific thing. Um, yes. <clears throat> it's, yeah, it, you need quite like a few people to be taking, taking it down, but it is a, go, like, I, I, it's a nice, if you like horses or, you know, pretty things, it's one of those. So, so have, right. it's like have invincible fun. on steroids, but in gold. Yeah. Kind yeah, of. yeah, it's it's very very cute. So um, so if you get a chance, absolutely. So and that's, it hits that's like cool. a truck, and it does. Yeah, it does. I think I was uh, the only horde when I got it. It was uh, there was about ten alliance, <laughs> and little old hoardy me. <laughs> yes. And I I I don't know how many drop. How many like what the chance drop rate is but i opened my bag and i'm like oh i got a mount <laughs> sweet and it's pretty tiny mm, and i noticed that there was like alliance that were must well i'm interpreting but there were they obviously didn't get the mount so i'm wondering does only one mount drop <laughs> I got them out, or if there's a couple. So, um, yeah, so I was kind of like, yay me. <laughs> I got them out. That's awesome. Definitely. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Um, My couple of weeks, because last week was uh, Father's Day, which, again, you know, happy Father's Day to everyone for last week. We didn't have a show. We had a lovely day with Dad. You know, I made, we made bread. Well, okay. I made breakfast. <laughs> um, we had, <laughs> yeah, me. Uh, so yeah, we did a whole, a whole, you know, thing where we made a really nice breakfast, and then we did uh, sausage, sausage sizzle lunch, which is, I don't know if you guys call them sausage sizzles. Does it doesn't sound familiar? I don't know, but it sounds delicious. It's. <clears throat> Okay, we have a a chain of a hardware chain over here called Bunnings. I don't know if that is something that is you guys would be familiar with, but it's a no. very <laughs> very big hardware chain. You go there for all like my father, if he does not go to Bunnings at least 3 to 5 times a week, I think he starts to go a little stir crazy. He'll go down there to get like uh screws or nails he has got a shed full of stuff but no no he just won't have the right size nail so off he goes i i personally i don't care because i'm like yeah sure don't go mum's like evan you've got enough stuff in the shed <laughs> <laughs> and that's like I haven't got the right one. And it's like okay, so um, so yeah, so Bunnings has every. It's normally I'm gonna say every Saturday might be Sundays, but a lot of times there's like charity organisations, like sporting groups go and set up. They have a tent set up outside, and they do what we call a sausage sizzle. So they cook up. A heap of sausages there's normally also cooked onion and all they do you have a piece of bread they normally have I think it's normally white bread or I think sometimes there is wholemeal or multigrain I can't remember mostly it's white because it's it's just cheap and it's normally a couple of dollars so they just put the um, sausage on the bread if you want onions, you put that on it, and normally they've got like tomato sauce or barbecue sauce or mustard, and that's it. And you normally pay pay like two dollars. So 
whatever money goes towards the sporting group and that can help them, you know, get stuff for the kids and for the teams and so that kind like of thing. Sounds like a hot dog cart. <clears throat> very, very similar, yes. But, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, and the second hmm. part of the problem was I thought you said the hardware chain was called Bunnies. <laughs> and I'm like, who names a hardware chain Bunnies? It's... Or what, this is a, ma a manly bunny. But... <laughs> Bunnings. Bunnings. Bunnings, like, yeah. Had, no, ours is called Home Depot. We don't yeah. go after bunnies. <laughs> Bunnings. Yes, Got so you. <laughs> Bunnings would be very similar to your Home Depot. So, yes, it would, from what I've Got seen. Got you. Mm -hmm. Not a rabbit. So, not a rabbit. Not a rabbit, no. Uh, but, yeah, that's and that's what they normally do. So, last week for Father's Day for lunch um, execute and I did up that for the family so we just had you know like this simple but I know mum and dad really love you know because it's just simple it's easy and it's a little bit of fun every time I you know I take it upstairs and I give it to dad and dad's like mmm sizey sizzle and I'm like yes dad here we go you know so he, that's adorable. Yeah, so he enjoyed it. So, um, hence, that's why it it was no show last week. So, just celebrating that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go. We do have some news. Not much, but we do. Let me play the bumper. Do, 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 do. Breaking down news from the world of Warcraft. There we go. Thank you, Rogue Slayer. All right. Uh, so, we've got Harvest Festival begins September 17th. It is that time again. Like, why? We are half, nearly halfway through September. I, we blinked. It is, yeah, it is crazy. Crazy. Hey, Mrs. Rock Guru, thank you. And Chris, you are amazing. What? Thank you. What? Thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, so, welcome. Welcome in. Thank you very much for coming and enjoying. Hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> All of that. We're here. Uh, that's the only news I've got for this week. If I've missed anything, oh well, we'll talk about it next week. <laughs> so, yeah. Works for me. <laughs> yeah, you get that. You get that. No, like, oh, it's Chris and Lita. It's either going to be super long or shortest <clears throat> show ever. Yeah, exactly. However, <laughs> we have got uh, quite a bit chit-chat. So, let's play the bumper. Where is he? Here. Hey, yo, it's chit-chat. And the goblin. We love the goblin. Alrighty. So, we have got a... Where's the other bumper? <laughs> it's one bumper, then two bumpers. Here we go. It's as he's gone. Uh, it gets me every time. Alright, what have we got from Azzy's Pun Vault? We have got... What's the worst part about eating a tiny Wookiee? It's a little chewy. I heard it so hard when I read that the first time, it, and then I had to read it again because I'm like, I'm gonna laugh in the middle of it. <laughs> and uh, again, it's a little chewy. Super cute, super cute. I kind of, when you started reading that saying about the Wookiee, I'm like, I know where this is going. I remember this. <laughs> she nodded, never. We know. Never. We know. I, I must. North. I was going to say, I don't know how I can get my, um, I did actually put one in for your Nort, but it's not there. Where's the one that I've got? I have got a Chris Nort. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so like a pig. It just cracks me up. That was, that was when I got like, uh, I think that was a couple of months ago. I was like the really good one because sometimes I just miss like either <laughs> side. It was like a full, the full knot, and I was like, oh, I gotta cut that one because you know <laughs> that was good. All right, ah, uh, now we have got one from Dave. So Dave said, no matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be still be stationary. I like Dave. Thank you, Dave. That is very true. That is very true. It is still stationary. Nice. <laughs> oh, 
alrighty, thank you both Azzies and Dave. That's that's awesome. We do love them. Uh, all right, we have got a question. I think let's um. We also have. A, I thought I had a pussycat somewhere. No, he's gone. I thought I had. He was somewhere down there, but it looks like he's walked away. Um. Okay. We have got a question. We have. I was too busy thinking you said biscuit. Apparently, I have no hearing today. I'm like, why is she looking on the floor for a biscuit? <laughs> I, oh, I, <laughs> I, I worked a lot. <laughs> we have from <laughs> Nefuri. Hi there. Just wanted to make sure for the Iron Man challenge. I can't put in talent points, but I can choose a spec, um, i.e. Frost, Fire, Arcane. Or do I need to play without a special specialization? Uh, answer came from Fair. It says, you are correct. No talent points are allowed, but you may choose a spec and can change it at will. And then mm -hmm. Nefuri also asked, just another question. Can I put in auctions for earning some gold? I actually need it for my writing. Not sure if auctioning is allowed or if I'm getting flagged. Don't want to risk it, though. And Zaya answered this one, saying using the auction house for selling, buying stuff is allowed. Just make sure you only equip allowed items. Exactly. Exactly. And the last thing we want is, you know, again, we have, don't forget, we've got the rules, we've got the FAQ. There is a lot of information up on the website, but if you are unsure the best thing to do is don't do anything <laughs> send a message <laughs> whether that's through twitter or facebook or discord because as we know and it has happened in the past sometimes when you think that you're doing the right thing and you're not sure and you go and do it it could be something that could flag your character so you know if in doubt be patient ask the question we would much rather ask a question and make sure that you, you know, don't get flagged. So thank you for that. All right. Uh, from Kat, we have, are Irons allowed to use the Dark Moon Fair buff? Now, this is from Nisi. She said, no XP buffs or Dark Moon Fair buffs. Only buffs allowed would be if it's part of your spell book or it's a zone wide or well buff that you cannot click off, which is exactly right. So... No riding the um, Ferris wheel thing at Dark Moon Fair to get the wee buff. Wee buff is not allowed for a challenge tune. Um, for, a, for a normal tune, absolutely. But for a challenge tune, no. Big no no. Uh, all right. What else have we got? So, along the lines of buffs, Miss Dave asked. So the time walking experience buff is fine. Answer from Nisi was the only thing the text states on that is rep gains from combat and quests increased by 50%. And that can't be removed. It's a worldwide buff. Also, challengers are not allowed to do dungeons unless you are a five man team. Unless you're a team. Yeah. Absolutely. And even then, I'm going to say we never had a team that big that got up to doing dungeons from memory um i know we had a team um the team that i had with nisi and five and stone there was only the four of us we never got we never got around to getting to to a dungeon um i still think we were what like level did we make level 10? I think we were like level 12 or something. Um, but yeah, we, we never got around to doing that. But again, you know, if you want to try something, okay, it's just, yeah, it would be fun to try. Maybe 14 at most. Yeah, I'm going to say it was, it was low teens. I'm pretty sure it was low teens. And Mrs. Rock Guru is correct. There is a roller coaster there. No riding the roller coaster. That gives you the wee buff as well. I must admit, you know how much I love, love Dark Moon Fair. Love Dark Moon Fair. If I could live at Dark Moon Fair, I would. All my tunes would have their hearth just there. I would be happy if they just had an inn 
Dark Moon Fair time, everyone's there. The rest of the time, no one's there. Like, I just have it em empty. I could walk around the island all by myself and have nobody else there. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> I think it's, you know. Beware the bunnies. It, it would be fun. Exactly. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's just one of those places. I just love those places. Would be fun. But not for every single challenge soon, obviously. Bloodthirsties. Ah, <sighs> bloodthirsties. So much. So much no. <laughs> anyway. So much no. <clears throat> so much no, yes. Alright, um, where am I up to? Okay, we have another question. So, from Wall Bears. <laughs> what a great name. Just started a pacifist run. Was wondering... In the rules, it states that you cannot have outside help, like trading yourself items. However, it doesn't mean turn the AH. Using the AH? Maybe that's it. Is using the AH allowed on a pacifist, turn selling herbs and whatnot? Yes, yes, that's how the pacifists make money. Yes, please. <laughs> AH is fed. Fantastic for low-level herbs, just saying. Uh, and Nisi answered, you are allowed to use the AH selling ordinary and herbs. Or and herbs? You're, uh, you've gathered is Or, allowed. I think. Or. or. Okay, yes. Fantastic for pacifists, because as we know, you're not killing anything, so money can be a little bit hard to come in. Um, dailies, you know, Dailies and Stormwind and Thunderbluff, fantastic. Once you get high enough um, <clears throat> on your levels and with your, you know, fishing and cooking and that. But it does, it does take a little bit. So it's, it's a good way. It's a good way if you, you know, Peace Bloom. I can't remember low levels, which ones, but I know I used to sell like heaps on Passy Leader on my Night Elf Rogue. You know, she's like in six digits because she would just, I would just sell stuff. And low level herbs always went really, really well. So, um, okay. We've got, Fess says, just a reminder to pacifists, you do not need to get any level in a profession before doing the monthly quest. Level one fishing is fine, for example. That's uh, at Darkmoon Fair. There's no level requirement so whereas it used to be what 75 you had to have 75 skill points so, which is you know which is again fantastic um tyber says that would be awesome to walk around the empty fairground i know i know i just would be you know even if you could ride the carousel not get the wee buff <laughs> i'm completely fine with that i would just like to ride the carousel at times roller oh that's what i was going to say roller coaster is not good i've ridden the roller coaster once and that was to say that i've done it but because i get vertigo and motion sickness it's not good it's not see good. now i can't ride the carousel <sighs> because i really? can't spin i could do that wow. roller coaster all day long oh. and i am fine but i see anything spinning and oh good lord please pray i did not eat lunch because i yeah will start feeling ill uh, well i've done the i cannot do carousel from first point i can't do first point the first person point of view like i if you've ever seen me stream I normally have my camera quite a ways because I need to see like the surrounding because if I am in too close it does throw my vertigo because it's a whole vision vision thing the roller oh, yeah. coaster the next zone. yeah is not is not good it's it's like the same with me hopping on a boat like if I get on a boat I'm uh, not good <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's it's that whole thing but on a carousel because i'm not like i can scroll back to see everything going around i'm i'm fine but on the roller coaster i can't do it i've tried changing angles and all sorts of things and you know it doesn't work chris you are Mwah. you know i love you well, don't i'm gonna you? take care i will keep the Beautiful. roller coaster for me you can go do the spin of death, and all the rights will be used. 
And you know what is funny? You know when you do the um, the Canon one? It took me a little bit to do the Canon one. Obviously, be very careful on the challenge zone. I have fallen to my death from that. Not on a challenge zone. But I have nearly died on one. Because oh, I was yeah. like, oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I'll go do this. She'll be fine. And it misfired and I fell into the tree. And I took a fair bit of damage. <laughs> I did not die. But I did take a fair bit of damage. So, yeah. So, just, again, just be very careful with, you know, where you're going and whatnot. So, um, yeah. Um, okay. That was, and that's completely derailed and gone off to something. But anyway, the question was about the pacifist. And yes, auction house. You can auction house stuff. That is fine. Sell your herbs. Sell your oil. Have fun. Make some make some money, etc. Fantastic. All right. Um. Okay. We've got another question. We've got so many questions this week. All right. Who have we, we got? We do. <clears throat> um, Arch Dame asked, Bloodthirsty Challenge. Somehow I got five dailies and yellow flagged. What does yellow flag mean? Does that mean I have to start again? I know red flag is dead but don't see what the yellow flag means. Answer came from our queen of the bloodthirsty, Nisi. A yellow flag indicates that your run was not a clean run according to the rules. Our green flag runs get celebrated should your character make it to max level. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And like anything, you know, there are, with some of the challenges, if you get yellow, sometimes you can kill enough that it will go one way or the other but there are certainly challenges that once you've got that yellow flag that's it like there is no getting rid of it so <clears throat> be careful you know watch what you're doing um we know with bloodthirsty there are places that you have to be really careful with um you know with those zone wide what do you call it like bonus objectives that you could start killing in one place and just be killing killing mobs and then a bonus objective will pop up you know all of that kind of thing um need to be careful of also uh it's completely gone i had something go through my head and i was like yes say about that but it's gone uh what's nice to say yellow for kills i believe is the only one a player can attempt to fix that's that's normally except for passive first year because you well, as we know, for a lot of us, especially for pacifists, if that becomes yellow, it's like, no, nah, you're done. Yellow is dead. It's, yeah, there's just, it's green, red, there's no in-between. So, you know, that's that's one of the things. Um, but, yeah, no, I completely forgot the point I was going to make. So, <laughs> okay, maybe it might pop Meh. back up. We'll, we'll see. All right, and we've got one more. This is from Iron Brew asked, and I think this was on a forum. So I see a couple of posts that suggest getting to level 51 or 52. Do the mobs in the intro more not scale with level? Zaya answered this. No, they don't scale the first time you go through. You can heaven hearth out. The portal in Stormwind will get you to the quest hub active when you left. Okay. All right. I've not done it. I know that they said that with the changes that some people have been able to take some of their um, tunes through. Fair did last week. No, sorry. We missed last week. The week before had taken. I know that Fair and Stir and Zaya have all taken tunes through. I'm not sure if Nisi has two weeks ago. Yeah. On PTR, the skip is looking promising. Yeah, we still got much to test. Not tried it yet. Yeah. So you know there is um, the look of that that skip is coming for nine point one point five. If I got the number right, ah, uh, it's you know it's something that we need to test out to see. And once again, as we know with testing. Sometimes you're testing things and you're like, oh dear Lord, this is not going to be good. And what actually goes live can be different. And you go, yay, things look promising. So we will see. 
again anyone who is on PTR that is testing stuff and wants to give some feedback and let us know how you're doing please look send us through some information we we like to get different people's perspectives so if you if you want to do that you know send it through to podcast at wildchallenges.com um that's to me for the show that's fine I'm I'm happy to you know read through and and uh get different perspective from people so um yeah uh Bess says the more mobs do not scale okay well that's good <laughs> that does help so um so yeah so again you know there is lots of lots of different things um but thank you everyone for the questions that's fantastic that's it's lots of stuff which means lots of people out there um having fun with the challenges so yay 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 well done um okay my god shortest show ever <laughs> could be chris could no, be... I, I think we might have had one that was close to like was half an hour and oh like, could have been we were fast <laughs> Yes, exactly. All right. Well, any other questions from the chat room? I'm just gonna we'll just do a little anything I missed. Pop it in here. We will do the thank yous to the Iron Elites. And again, thank you. Um, yeah. Let's do. Let's just do the thank yous, and we'll then we'll see if there's anything else for from the chat room. So, darling, can you do that for me, please? Absolutely. Thank you. For all the Iron Elites. Thank you so much. We Truly you. appreciate your support. We do. Cannot do it without you. Aleandris, Awesome Trousers, Boz, Cell, Chupa, Dave DeHunter, Execute, Fair, Gazden, Chris, Laren, I, every time, I feel so bad I can't say people. La! I Laren? do have a speech impediment. Laren Ramar. We'll go with that. Lita, Mr. Brighto One. Mers, Charming, Nisi, Rudd, Stir, Stone, Swing Cat, Tiber, aka Tiber, Wynema, Zaya, and Zorts. Thank you guys. And uh, again, I have to say a huge, huge thank you, Chris. Because seriously, the gifting of those subs was just amazing. So thank you and welcome to our new subs so thank you but chris seriously what? woman you what? you are damn fine <laughs> you do. Yeah. Uh. Uh, we appreciate you so much so thank you it's very very sweet so thank you very much for that um okay so rod says why does a level one tune start with one quest without doing anything probably I don't know count wide probably a count wide credit yeah that's what Stur said <clears throat> maybe it's one of those things that you know also when you create the tune and Blizzard's like well you just created a tune so you've kind of done a quest <laughs> so one <laughs> there we go so I don't know I'm gonna say count wide yeah which is probably that all right um now to stir and myself want to thank our awesome wonderful amazing terrific i can't think of any more words that say all of that but to our mods who are they are truly amazing so to awesome trousers boz execute fair chris nisi zai thank you guys so much for the things that you do you are muchly and greatly appreciated by me. So thank you for that. Uh, to our Code Wardens, thank you. And to everyone who's been here today for our cute little fashion show. Thanks, guys, for popping in and uh, being with us. We do appreciate the time uh, that you've come across to do that. Now, we will be back next week, which will be sept September. Ugh. 
words are hard. You've they I've, are awful. I've had three coffees today. You would think that the brain would be working, but it's obviously not. <laughs> so nah, part of it. Yeah, yeah, you get that. Um, so for hang on, where are, let me get oh <laughs> did it again. I <laughs> just got rid of the UI. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, seriously, Lita, what are you September doing? September 18th, everybody. September 18th. September 18th, that's right. So we will be back Saturday, September 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern, which is our standard time that we do all the things. <clears throat> I am super excited because not only do I get to have one guest next week, I get to have two guests next week. And it's been a while since I've spoken to both of them, but I'm having both of them come together because I can't remember. I think it was Dave that said that him and Tiber have known each other for like 30 plus years. And it was like, you know what? We need to have oh, a chat. Be fun. <clears throat> so very excited. So we have got Dave and Tiber next week coming to have a chat and uh we yeah i just want i want stories i just want to hear their stories so they've been friends for a very long time which is amazing so super excited about that uh so chris can you tell me and everyone <laughs> where people can <laughs> find you well, you know where to find me i know <laughs> um twitter it's chris w um discord chris w that's about it. Or on Lita's desk. Or on Lita's desk as Nort. As Nort. As Chris Nort. Oh, hang on. My yep, cute little... That was my presence at her wedding. That's it. That's it. It's there like we Chris go. Shark. That's it. Okay. I don't think I can... Do... Oh, damn it. I am... The sound alerts thing that I had set up. I actually had, I don't think I can go in and change it. I wonder if I can, hang on. I'm going to do something. Let's just do this. I'm going to see if this works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's go in. Cause I had, like I had stuff set up, but obviously it didn't come through. So I don't know where the things are, which I'm really disappointed pointed about because I had stuff um, like can you hear this one if I play it oh my god that is awesome <laughs> so I had so obviously I hadn't set it up properly um but that's not the only thing <laughs> i had i also because i knew you were coming on today <laughs> so i that also had this one i can't hear it what is it didn't come through not coming through. I don't know. Could you guys hear her? What was it? Oh, Chris can... entrance music. I already know what it is. Demon Jaws. That used to be my... So every time, the first time I would talk in Paradin's stream, mm -hmm. um, we used to have sound alerts and it was it was a channel point reward. So of course I had the theme of Jaws. And the very... So I go in one day and he's sitting there outside of Oh, P, what is that town? Um, the one that went underwater. There, um, uh, in Mer it's a Menethol? Menethol Harbor? I, it's, yes. Menethol? Yes. Mm. I think. Um, he's fighting sharks, and then I came in and I typed something, and then so the Jaws name <laughs> went off, and he's sitting there killing sharks. It was so good. But yes, every single time I would get into strength, the very first thing I said, that was my theme music. Nice. We had to quit using it because, you know, copyright. Yeah. Well, um, but that is brilliant. Couldn't. 
my audio decided that the awesomeness was too much and it went robotic. Um, well, I don't know. These ones come through on Twitch for the sound alerts. So as far as I'm, I mean, they should be approved to be used. So if Twitch is, you know, I was like, sweet, I'm going to. I'm going to play them. So I had set them up. And then I also, <laughs> I had, um, what else? I also had this one because I thought this was hilarious. Because <laughs> it was like, you know, encouraging you as challenge shoes. Let's go level up. <gasps> so it's the ding. It was just, it was so cute. So yeah. And then, of course, there was... I had to get this one. So this is Lita playing at night when she's tired. So obviously I didn't... The Dragons! Gotta have that one. Gotta have Leroy. So yeah, that's... So I may have done, a, done some stuff, but I don't know. I obviously haven't <laughs> done it properly to setting up. Anyway, you get that. It'll give me something to sit through and try and figure out again. <laughs> yes. Hunter Death. Well, sir, you get me the audio and I will upload. That's fine. I have got, um, I have got capabilities to upload my own sound bites. But again, I obviously need to set it up properly, which I haven't done. Um, <clears throat> don't jump, John. No, I don't think I've got that one. Uh, I think Stone had that one. I can't remember. <laughs> this is so, sorry, very good. But that was so funny. Leroy, it's just, yeah. I had to, as soon as I saw that, I was like, yeah, we've got to have that one. Because that's just hilarious. Anyway, all right, um, so where you can find us. Anyway, we are at wildchallenges.com. That is the website. You will find all the information for our Discord, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube channels is there. If you want to listen and download the podcast, you can pop over to Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher Radio. Don't forget... If you want to contact the show, whether you want to send, you know, if you're doing some PTR testing, uh, you want to ask a question, got pun or a joke or advice, any of that stuff, please send me an email at podcast at wowchallenges.com. You can also find me on Twitter at LitaWow, which is L-E-E-T-A-W-O-W. All right, I think we have covered all the things. So, all the things. Yeah. All right, and again, uh, before I forget, oh, not before I want to forget, but I just wanted to say again to Nisi and Fed, thank you very much for taking the time to be part of the fashion show. We do really appreciate it. So, hearts to you both. We will contact you after the show. Give me time to do the editing, <laughs> but we'll, we'll do that and we'll get that sort uh, prizes sorted for you guys. Um, and other than that, as I said, we will be back next week with Tiber and Dave. So excited. Can't wait. Hey. All right. Uh, last thank yous. What have we got? We would like to thank Mr. Bright01 for the intro that still makes me giggle no matter how many times I hear it in Nisi's Flowers. You can find him on Discord at Mr. Bright01. Absolutely, and we do appreciate Ross doing that. Now, I did want to also say that uh, we know that we lost a very awesome and wonderful friend, Epic Sanity, a couple weeks ago. So I have decided that in honor <clears throat> of him, definitely for the rest of the year, because obviously it's 2021, um, that we will be playing his outro. And um, he's been a good and wonderful friend to me and to the show. And it's my way of one of the ways to honor him 
and his memory and his legacy. And I don't want to get teary, but I will miss him very much. Too late, Levy. Yeah. So we're going to play the outro, which is epic. And uh, we do love and appreciate him. And we're going to miss him a lot. And I'll probably say this every week, but you know what? It's my show. I can do what I want. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Absolutely. Thank you guys all for being here. Thank you, Chris, for the wonderful subs. Do appreciate you too, woman. You are amazing. To Mwah. chat room. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's play the outro. We will see you next week. Hearts to you all. Be safe. Have fun. <sighs> all of those things. Appreciate you guys. See you next week. The WoW Challenges Podcast is a World of Warcraft gaming podcast. Produced by Lita. Copyright 2021. Portions of this podcast belong entirely to Blizzard Entertainment. The music used for the show belongs to Kevin McLeod, and you can find his great stuff at incopytech.com. No copyright infringement is intended. Yep, the voice always said. He was the voice. That was that was the whole thing. That's why I loved him doing his uh, outro. And um, yeah, he had a great voice. Amazing. All right. Oh, get yourself together, Lita. <laughs> yeah. All right. Baby sad woman. Yeah. Okay, we need some show titles. So, anybody got anything? Chris, you got anything? I mean, we've been busy. <laughs> there was a couple of things we, I thought of and didn't write it down. We can't even talk. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Where's Nisi? She's always got to I was going to say, I was going to say, there's always something amazing from the crew in the chat room. So... <clears throat> dress to kill. Ooh, that's a oh, good one. Look at, oh, fashion, oh, look at passion. Ooh, that's a good one, Mrs. Rock Guru. That's awesome. On the catwalk. Subtastic. <laughs> dress to kill, fashion, passion, on the catwalk. Which one do you like, Chris? I uh, agree. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> um, I like them Grr. all. Let's go. Actually, we have a pacifist in there. Let's go fashion, passion. Fashion. If we go dress to kill, then that pacifist is done. Uh, red flag. <laughs> Sorry, over. But yeah. that is a great title, Tiber. That is... They are, they are all great titles. Thank you, guys. We will go with Mrs. Rock Guru. Thank you. Fashion, passion is amazing. We love it. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, I think we are done. You can go to bed in a minute because I'm still on live screen. Live <laughs> in a minute. All right, guys, have a great week. Again, please stay safe both in and out of game and all of that. We will see you next week with Tiber and Dave. Woo! All right, see you guys. Bye. Bye, all. <laughs>